Oregon Offshore is renowned for packing the most experience in the fewest miles, a veritable buffet of offshore agony and ecstasy. The 2011 version included a whale strike on one of the race boats, an event so bizarre that I hope it never gets topped. Here we are, just a few minutes beyond the starting line, at the mouth of the Columbia River. Take a look at the blue spinnaker flying in the extreme left-hand side of the frame. One moment, it's flying proud. In the next, it is gone. As we approached on Cool Change, we saw the decks busy with crew working the problem. As a member of Team Cool Change, I've been racing against these guys for several years, both on the Columbia River and offshore. They know their business. The way they handled the dismasting was an impressive example of calm teamwork that we all admire. We got the Orca's version of the story from skipper Jerry Barnes at the post-race party and awards ceremony at the Royal Victoria Yacht Club. A whale breached just a few feet from La Orca's starboard side. After rising over 20 feet straight up, the giant started to fall back into the sea, twisting as it fell. The whale hit the mast shrouds. Loaded with spinnaker under a 20-knot breeze, the rig exploded. As the whale continued to fall, it pulled La Orca onto her side. Jerry said that he was certain the roll was headed for a full 180. But the whale disappeared and La Orca rolled back upright. If the whale had breached an instant later, it would have landed on a cockpit filled with crew. We are all thankful that didn't happen, and everyone, including the whale, came out okay. After released by the Coast Guard, we continued our race to Victoria. Over the next 40 hours, we experienced an exhilarating, challenging race that ended with a third place finish in class and fifth overall. Nice. Next up, Swiftsure 2011. See you there.